Hi everyone, my name is Juliana, I am the Marketing Manager for a not-for-profit finance provider based in Birmingham, UK, and today I'll be speaking to you about sponsor content and scheduling. But first let me apologize for my voice, I have a really bad cold. Luckily this is just a video so you will not catch my cold. Let's start with sponsor content then. Sponsor content is the content you pay to have shown to more people. You can spot it on your timeline on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and many other social networks. It is usually presented in a way that makes it look like it's just part of your timeline and not like an advert at all. A study by social media optimization platform Social Flow has shown organic reach on Facebook, for example, has fallen 52% during the first five months of 2016 alone. That's because there is more and more content being published and competing for space on people's timeline. So Facebook algorithm has to pick out the posts a user would like to see the most. So the content you publish won't be shown to all of your fans. By using sponsor content, you are able to reach more people and reach people who don't even follow you yet. More than that, you can target who will see your content down to very specific criteria such as interests, age, income and so on, making it easier for you to get your content in front of the right people. My top tips when using sponsor content are very simple really. First, make the most of targeting. Always define a specific target for your sponsor posts. Using sponsor content and not defining a target will waste you a lot of money by showing your post to people who are not really interested in it and not likely to convert at all. Second, have a clear call to action in your sponsor content. Click here to read more about it, register now, go to our website to download the ebook, whatever it is that you are promoting, have a clear call to action stimulating the audience to click through on your sponsor content. Third, use appealing content that will get people curious to click. Content that will somehow be useful. Put yourself in the shoes of your target audience. What will get them interested in you? What will get them to act? And also use appealing and high quality images and videos. Content with image tends to get more engagement than content with only a link. And content with video tends to get even more engagement than content with image. There are also a few things you should avoid when using sponsor content. Don't sponsor generic content, that is, a link to your homepage, for example. Tailor content to attract your specific audience and sponsor that kind of content instead. Avoid using a target that is too broad, as I said before. Use the targeting tools to get the content in front of the right people. Don't be too pushy with your sponsor content. Make it look like a natural part of the user's timeline and not like an advert that is disrupting their experience. Lastly, don't forget. Content is king, but context is God. This line, said by marketing master Gary Vaynerchuk in 2012, couldn't be more true today. Think of the mindset of the user when they're using the platform in which you're sponsor content and make sure your content fits into that mindset. Don't be disruptive. Make sure your sponsor content fits into the platform aesthetics and experience and into what your target audience wants to see in that specific platform. Now let's move on to scheduling. Scheduling our content publications can save us a lot of time and help us post content on the right time to reach our audience. There are many, many platforms that can help you with that. Some are free, like TweetDeck and the Facebook Scheduling too, and some are offered on a freemium model, like Hootsuite, Sprout, Buffer, and many more. And the prices can vary from £5 to £99 a month. Although they're all very similar, some offer more and some offer less functionality, so try a few and choose which one suits you best. I'll show you the free version of Hootsuite today because I believe it is the best free scheduling tool available. Uh, the prices for their paid versions vary from £7.99 to £69.99 a month and they also have a custom pricing plan for enterprises. Let's have a look at Hootsuite then. To access Hootsuite you go to hootsuite.com. On the homepage you're going to find an overview at what Hootsuite is. If you hover over plans, you're going to find a list of all of their plans. If you click on them, you're going to find details about each one. And you find a link to compare all of the plans. Today, we're going to look at the free version. The free version allows you to connect up to three social profiles. You can choose between Facebook profile, Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, LinkedIn profile and LinkedIn business page and many other social profiles. It also offers basic analytics, the main tool you're going to talk about today which is content scheduling and a few other functionalities. So let's get started. 
When you click on Get Started, it takes you to the Create Account page where you can create your account using your email or your social network profiles. I'll create the account using Twitter because it's easier. You authorize the app. And it takes you back to the Create Account page where you can add more social profiles or you can leave it for later, which is what I'm going to do now. Then it takes you to create a password. Don't forget your password has to have upper and lowercase characters. Once you've created the password, it takes you straight to this dashboard. One of my favorite things about Hootsuite is that it allows you to organize your dashboard using tabs. So I'm going to create my first tab. I would usually create one tab for each social network. So I'll create this tab here for Twitter. And then you add streams. For my Twitter tab, I'm going to add a home stream, which is my timeline. I'll add mentions and retweets to keep monitoring who's engaging with my tweets. I'll add my message inbox, my new follower so that I can follow back if it's someone I'm interested in, and scheduled so that I can see all the posts that I have scheduled. So this is what this, the tab looks like once you've added the streams. It also allows you to add streams for keywords and searches. So let's say I'm interested in travel blogs and I'll search the travel blog hashtag and add the stream search in the travel blog hashtag. So it will show me a stream with all the tweets using the travel blog hashtag. But let's say I'm only interested in travel blog, but I don't want to know about luxury travel. I am a backpacker. I can go to preferences and use search filters. So I can use minus hashtag luxury travel. And then my stream is only going to show me travel blog hashtag that doesn't include luxury travel. There you go, no luxury travel. Ideally, I'd create a separate tab to monitor keywords, hashtags and competitors. Now let's see how to schedule an update. To schedule an update, you hover over the Compose message box. To the left, you're going to see a list of all the social profiles you have connected to Hootsuite. You can pick one or more to send the update to. I'll pick Twitter. Then you compose the message, which in my case is a tweet, so it shows me the 140 character limit here. For the sake of this exercise, I'm just going to copy and paste something. There you go. And then I'll add a link in this little box in the corner and click on shrink. Don't forget to click on shrink. If you don't click on shrink, it won't send the link with your update. It will send just the headline. You can also attach a media like image or video, you can add location and you can send the tweet right now or the update right now. If you click on scheduling, it will show you the options to choose a specific date and time to send your update or you can turn out a schedule on. If you turn out a schedule on, Hootsuite is going to have a look at your activity and your followers activities and it will pick the ideal optimal time for engagement to post your update. I'll choose a random uh, time and date to send, so Monday the 14th of November, let's say 5.20 p.m. and click on schedule. And there it is on my scheduled stream. Now let's take a quick look at the other functionalities Hootsuite offers. 
If you go to the Publisher tab, you're going to be able to see drafts, which are messages you have created and saved but not scheduled or sent. You're going to be able to see all the scheduled content for all the social networks you have connected. You're going to be able to see all the past content you have scheduled. You have these three options which are really only relevant if you have more than one user on the account, which the free version doesn't allow. And you can have a look at suggestions. So based on your hashtags, it will suggest you content. If you go to the analytics tab, you can build reports to mo monitor your growth, your engagement and so on. If you go to the assignments, it's another functionality for more than one user in the account for organizations. Then you have the Campaigns tab, where you can create sweepstakes, competitions, and so on, in a very easy way. Let's wait for it to load. There it is. So you can create sweepstakes, galleries, and contests. And you have the Contacts tab, where it shows a list of the people who follow you and the people you follow. On the App Directory, you can add apps like YouTube or Tailwind to integrate Pinterest. Then on settings, you can change your account settings and preferences, RSS feeds and everything else. And then on tools and help, you're going to find some support. So this is a little overview of Hootsuite. I hope it was useful and helpful. Take time to explore and experiment with it to find out how it will work for you. Thank you. Bye.